So how many of you here are engineers? Please raise your hands. Wow. <laughs> and non-engineers? <laughs> oh, nice. So I think uh, something which I'll uh, tell uh, you will all relate to it. So specifically, I'm an engineer. And uh, once I graduated uh, from my engineering in 2010, uh, so we were a bunch of kids uh, who were brainstorming about this problem. Like there were 400 projects in our campus, like in just the engineering colleges in one year. And uh, none of these projects were actually going out in the market. So we were very uh, frustrated, like we spent so much money into making projects and uh, none of these projects were actually uh, going out. Do you know that where, is, where does this project land up? <laughs> yeah, it goes into scrap. So most of these projects were not being used and all your hardened money was going into scrap. So we wanted to change this uh, process and we made a proposal uh, to our trustee, Sri Samir Soma, I think is a brilliant man, a visionary. So he understood what we are trying to do and he supported us uh, with a seed fund to set up this uh, facility. We call it a facilitating center. It's called RIDL, R-I-I-D-L, Research, Innovation, Incubation, Design Labs. So we set it up and initially we didn't have any resources, we didn't have any tools, we didn't have anything. So we just uh, started working from the canteen. And at that instant, we were trying to make some cool projects. So making cool projects uh, got a lot of traction to us. In fact, a lot of students joined in. But then again, getting all the PhD faculties and all was a big task because then uh, they always doubted our credibility because we were just kids, just graduated out of college. So this is something which we learned. We kept on evolving. We kept on using the internet as a resource to get knowledge and to make cool projects. So uh, what happened is many of our projects started uh, going out into the market. And that actually uh, put a big impact on the student community in our campus. So we have 38,000 students and 1,800 faculty. So everyone, uh, to get everyone motivated and on the same page was a big task. So uh, specifically what happened at that instant from 2010 to 2013 is we kept on doing projects, uh, but we uh, didn't see the output. We didn't see all the projects going out. So uh, we, what we did is we started creating processes. We started creating structures. We started creating labs. So, uh, but in, during this process, all my team members quit. So I was in a dilemma. And, and, and at this duration, it was around the year 2013. 2012-13, uh, I, uh, I just joined my MBA program, the part-time MBA program. I didn't want to quit the job. And uh, I, I was also getting engaged to my childhood crush. So this was a big, <laughs> uh, so this was a big uh, pressure on me. Should I uh, quit my job and take a regular job like my other two partners did, or should I stay and stick to the idea which we all started together. So, uh, and during this time, I, I used to watch a lot of movies uh, at night to just understand, uh, like relate myself. So Pursuit of Happiness is one movie and Will Smith really motivated me uh, to actually do what I'm doing now. So at this instant, a uh, lot of uh, things were going on in my mind and I had to fight back to all the thoughts which were coming in. And uh, luckily, uh, I stayed with the idea which we started. But then there were a lot of people who were trying to pull me down. In fact, uh, one of the <laughs> faculties <laughs> told my in-laws that tell him to get a good job. And there were, other, there were a lot of other people who were uh, like not showing trust and belief in what I was doing. Specifically, uh, like uh, you, you will all have these, uh, the, you will all have the same challenge in your uh, career like there will there will be a lot of people who will try to pull you down who will try to tell you no that this is not the right thing but I think at the end of the day you as a person uh, should believe in yourself and your idea and should try to leap forward so one of our projects got published in the Times of India uh, we made the musical stairs which actually uh, got published and a lot of people started using it so we motivated people to use the stairs rather than the escalators we installed pianos on the steps so that happened and then we got a space in the engineering college. On the left side, you can see that that is the space which we got. And on the right side, it is uh, what it looks now. So we have a cool slide and a bed and uh, like all the latest technologies which you can imagine, we have everything in a lab. And the government of India gave us a million dollars worth grant to set up all the coolest uh, 
uh, facilities in our laboratory. So we have a fab lab, bio lab, we have an AR, VR lab, we have a robotics lab. So we have set up all these things and we have set up a business incubator. So in the last uh, three to four years, we have churned out more than 60 companies and created more than 300 plus job opportunities, full-time job opportunities for people, for students. So, and, it is, and it is open to everyone. So uh, I'll, just, I'll just quickly share about one of the projects which I started and which is now a big company out there. So how many of you have played chess? Okay, so this is a chess board which we made, but the coins on this board moves automatically. So when you play a move, you can see the GIF below. Uh, when you play a move, the coins automatically move and it responds to your moves. So we did a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarters and we raised half a million dollars. And apart from that, we uh, also raised half a million in investments. Uh, so you can see the image above. It's a pink color uh, acrylic sheet board. So the initially when we made this project, we spent two years on uh, specifically making things which were not required. We added AI in it, we added sound uh, voice feedback, we added textures in it, matte and gloss for people to touch and feel the board. We added so many things inside that board which actually the players didn't need. The players, uh, uh, the players when they actually saw this board which we made for two years, they told that it is disturbing us. We don't want that AI to talk to us. We don't want any lights. We just want the traditional board. So what we did is we, un we uh, pressed the undo button and we redid all the work uh, in just like three to four months and we made a very uh, simple, elegant looking wooden board which actually uh, looks like a very traditional board which people can play. And uh, you can check it out, you can type square off on Google and you will find this board. So what I'm trying to say is like uh, don't spend uh, too much resource on just uh, thing on on just uh, one idea specifically uh, when you are too much into it like all the innovators I know I uh, I've met and personally me also we are too much in love with the idea so we always love our idea and we uh, try to create a barrier around it and we are being very productive about it so uh, I think you should talk to a lot of people, get feedback, talk to your customer, understand the customer's requirement, understand his needs, and then move ahead. So to get more clarity, I have come up with a few fundas, but then I wanted to ask everyone this question. Like, how can you explain Uber in one sentence to a kid? Can anyone give a try? Okay. Oh, the most successful startup to a kid. Will that kid understand? You, you have to explain what Uber is to a kid. It's something which uh, uh Okay, anyways, so I'll, uh, I'll give you the answer for this. So it, is, uh, it can be simply told like, push a button on your phone and get a cab. So with this sentence, maybe a kid can understand. So uh, this is something which I learned from the Valley, like uh, all the startups there have, the, have created this tendency wherein they can explain their idea in one sentence. So uh, I think all of you should like uh, have this uh, clarity in your mind whenever you try to create a product or a process or an idea, you should try to create uh, short sentences in which you can convey that message. So uh, I will share a method which I created to evaluate any idea. So it is called the three bucket method. So I want everyone, of, uh, everyone present here to imagine three buckets. Are you on the same page? Yeah. yeah. So have you imagined three buckets? So in the first bucket, you put air, okay? In the second bucket, you put a painkiller. And in the third bucket, you put a, a, sup a supplement, okay? Uh, so now I'll tell you how to relate this uh, method with ideas. So air, the, the bucket air will signify the ideas which you use constantly. It's like breathing. You use the idea day in, day out. For example, WhatsApp. The second bucket is a painkiller bucket. For example, uh, those uh, pro problems or products which solve your biggest pain. For example, uh, the best example is Ola or Uber. So for example, you're stranded at 11 o'clock on this road outside your campus and you have no cabs. So Ola or Uber will solve that pain of getting the cab to you, okay? And the third bucket is a supplement which you don't need but you still have it, like Instagram. You don't need Instagram but you still start uh, scrolling and using it, okay? So uh, this is the method which I created, but I think like this three bucket method can be used by any innovator or any one of you to create and realize or evaluate your own ideas. 
uh, moving ahead, many people ask me like what to do when in college. So I think you need to move very fast and break things and learn how to make things. Specifically by uh, like surfing the internet first and then talking to your peers, which is very important. Like communities like TEDx and there will be so many groups in your college. Like peer-to-peer -peer learning is the best learning which can happen in your college. And uh, there are a lot of DIY, like do it yourself, do it with other resources available on the internet. So I think you should uh, get a hang of it and understand and join these communities. Again, uh, what I tell everyone is like you need to not think about the future too much. You need to enjoy the present because your present is a gift and you, you must realize it. Thank you.